Aloha everyone, I'm Malika Dudley. We are at the Four Seasons with Frida Pinto. You probably recognize her from Slumdog Millionaire or her current TV series, Gorilla. She's being honored with the Shining Star Award this evening. Welcome to Maui. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm just so excited to be here. Honestly, I have never, I think the only other time I've had the feeling of like landing somewhere and feeling absolutely relaxed has been when I went to Bali. So I have to say Maui and Bali now are my two most famous, favorite places to go and relax. Maui is closer to Los Angeles, so I'll pick Maui. Yeah. 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 So is this your first time? This is my first time. I've never been to Hawaii. And this is the first, yeah, the first time I've been to Maui as well. So first time, first time for many things. Yeah. Do you have any First plans? Film festival as well. I've never oh, been yes. here before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get you back. Yeah, get me back. <laughs> um, do you have any plans? I do. I do. I mean, everybody has um, told me that I need to try Mama's Fish House. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, food-wise, we're being taken care of, yes. and we're probably going to do Road to Hana. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fun that. one. You don't get motion sick. Um, no, I think I'll be fine. We'll, right. we'll take all the necessary precautions yeah. before we get on that trip. But we're going to do a whole day and, you know, drive and stop and take pictures, Aww. enjoy the waterfalls, go for a swim. So yeah. everything's, in, everything's been planned for that particular day, yeah. Yeah, you are going to love it. I mean, it's our favorite. As locals, it's our favorite thing right, to do. So, right. What's the one thing you think I should absolutely do, shouldn't leave Maui without? Well, definitely Hana. And we have amazing restaurants, even yes. here in all the hotels. Yes, yes, yes. You got to get in the ocean, too. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. The ocean is definitely part of it. Today we just did the pool, yeah. but tomorrow will be the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Surfing, canoe, yeah, you know. And I got my little tan going on as oh, well. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> I my, one of my best friends who's here with me, she was like, you're too pale for a brown woman. You need to go and get yourself a tan. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've been like sunbathing and just, you know, enjoying ourselves in Mai Tais. Yes, yeah, it's been yeah. perfect. Well, yeah. you have the perfect tone to get that tan on, yeah, so exactly. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so we are here because you are receiving the Shining Star Award. So I wanted to read the description to you. Okay. It honors a film artist who dares to dream big dreams and delivers brilliantly charismatic performances every time that opportunity knocks. So I read your Wikipedia biography and I feel like your life parallels that description. You know, this young girl in India making it in Hollywood. And I think the word really that stood out was daring, daring to dream big dreams. Did you always have this as a dream? Um, did I always have a Hollywood dream? Not really, but what I did always have, and I do remember telling my parents about it, my parents actually reminding me about it as well, is that I always dreamt of being on a world stage, you know, not on a limited stage for just a set region or a group of people, but really on a world stage and making it as global and as international as possible. Mm -hmm. So when Slumdog happened, actually, there was no plan that this was going to be the the sleeper hit, the super hit film that it was going to end up becoming and you know people would love it and well it's like 10 years now and people still can't stop talking about it. Um, so and, and, and you know what 10 years later no matter how many films I do and how many TV projects I do I'll still always be the slumdog girl. <laughs> so it's like a, a tag I always carry with me. So that, that, I, I don't think there was any way of knowing mm -hmm. but um, you know, like they say, strike while the iron's hot. When that opportunity came my way, I just knew that if there was ever a dream to do something on an international stage, then this is it. And yeah. now I've got to learn to capitalize and make the right decisions. So yeah, as daunting as it was, you know, because you, you're coming from nowhere and then you've got to make all these really tough decisions. Um, it was also a very fun experience and I learned a lot and I keep growing every with every experience, yeah. Well, now that you are on this world stage, aside from acting, what are you passionate about? Um, well, I also produce because I really want to tell stories that I feel get neglected or are, are, are necessarily not on people's radar because they might belong to a world, a part of the world that is not really talked about. Like, for example, India or Pakistan. Uh, uh, people don't realize um, the stories of brave women from that part of the world. So my mission is really to tell stories of um, brave women just as much as I in my humanitarian work as well I am all about uh, uh, empowering girls you know through education and and also through um, um, not just education as in going to school but like a learning of sorts you know by inspiration as well and really what happens when I go on these trips to learn about what their situations and might be or, or, or the kind of uh, crisis situations they might be in I end up getting so inspired you know because I'm going wait they have hardly anything but they have so much drive and so much zest to go out there and overcome these obstacles and so it gives me this lesson every teaches me this lesson every time that I have no reason to complain.
you know, I am really blessed to be where I am and the, the small little obstacles that come my way, um, I can overcome them just as well as they do. So yeah, so I think it's like the humanitarian work does inform uh, a lot of the projects and stories that I want to tell. And at the end of the day, what is film? You know, what is a, a piece of art? You want to be able to touch human strings. You know, you don't want, you just don't want it to be vapid and just be lost in space. So yeah, so for me, tell, a film is telling human stories and the humanitarian work is no different. Yeah. Well, those are life lessons, right? Yeah. Um, what's up next for you? A couple of things. This is a very exciting and a busy year, and um, I'm sure there'll be a couple of announcements made in the near future. But I'm moving on to another very exciting TV project, and that'll be announced soon. And I have um, two really sweet independent films that I cannot wait to do. And the film that I'm producing will probably go on floors um, either um, mid next year or. Um, in spring or in the fall, one of the two, depending on when the yeah. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, nice. pretty. Excited. That might be your in to the Maui Film Fest oh next my God. year. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what? If that film <laughs> gets ready in time for the next Maui Film Festival, I'm definitely bringing it here. I just kind of five people are so compassionate and kind over here. I think the stories, that story, might even resonate. Yeah. All right, we're going to wrap with just a few social media follower questions. Okay, cool. okay, so who styled you and who are you wearing this evening? Oh my God, so my uh, stylist is actually one of my best friends. Her name is Tanya Gavri. She lives in India and she does everything. We do everything on WhatsApp and, <laughs> and Skype. And, you know, sometimes she, when I have a massive press junket, she comes to LA because she also uh -huh. loves Los Angeles. But I kind of like working with friends, you know, and I'm like nine years in the industry and I don't like doing things like a business all the time because everything is a business as you understand right so I think working with a friend is great and this is Joanna Oritz um, um, she was like why don't we try it you're gonna Hawaii why don't we try yeah. something different you've never done floral and frills so she put me in this <laughs> well I love it you look gorgeous tonight do you feel like Hollywood Bollywood typecasts you because you are beautiful hmm well I, I, I don't know well, I'll tell you what, without sounding ungrateful for, I'm very, I'm very um, grateful for my fortunate looks, I guess that's the best way to put it. It's so hard to make that sentence make sense without sounding too haughty or, you know, um, um, big headed. But I do think what happens is whenever I go in for an audition or a film role, the first thing they see is my face and they don't explore substance and they don't explore, actually they don't explore um, uh, the side that may not be so pretty, you know, that might be flawed. Um, and uh, part of it is because when they saw me in Slumdog Millionaire, my first ever film, it was about finding the most, the most beautiful girl in the world and I have to be reunited with her and, you know, where is Latika? And so I think kind of the soul sunshine uh, pretty girl image might just stay, you know. So it's, it's taken me a while to break that and that itself has been sometimes a frustrating but sometimes a very challenging but fun process. And with Gorilla, I was like, I'm going to do what I need to do now. So, yeah, you broke it with that. Yeah. And the last question, what do you do for fun? Ah, I travel. I love traveling. I feel like traveling really is not just a, uh, um, you know, definitely a process where you get to learn so much about a different culture, a different country, different people, food. But at the same time, it kind of just helps you step out of what you do every day, like takes you out of a routine and throws you into something that actually ends up relaxing you, you know, because you're not answering your phone calls at 6 a.m. every morning and, you know, having to go to work and it just like switches it up a little bit. So I come back feeling so much more energized um, to travel. Well, thank you so much for answering our questions. Thank Congratulations. You. You. I hope you enjoy your time on Maui you. and, you know, the road to Hana is beautiful. You're really going to enjoy that. Can, can I come with you? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> My guide. Oh, yes. I will be your guide any day. <laughs> Go to MauiNow.com for everything you need to know about the Maui Film Festival. Frida Pinto, everyone. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much.